anybody. So a, a, again, it's a misconception. Mm -hmm. That's it. It has it has not, no bearings on jail time for anybody. So a, a, again, it's a misconception um, of what a what, what a lawsuit is. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's not like because 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 I heard something about them trying to compare it to scheme situation. Yeah, that was my next question. How can they even compare the scheme team situation? Nah, you can't compare them. There's two different types of lawsuits. In his situation, he's in the game. And he's giving it. Supposedly, so so he say, because I never even heard of this dude. But he's saying that he's giving it. Basically, he popping, he popping dudes or whatever. He's in the game. He, he's gang, he on gang time. He violates. Now his gangs punish him for that, for violating the rules. You you did something that violated, so they was coming for your head. So son came and ate him. Bop. Which means that now he's out the he's out the gang. He out of here. That's what happens when you get faded. You get out of here, like CK scheme. You know that's what they got in common. But um, so now. He gets, he gets, he gets eight. So now what he's doing is he wants to sue the jail because they didn't have enough security to stop the people that cut him. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's way different than somebody suing for their constitutional rights because their rights were violated. This is you going to have to implicate that somebody or who that somebody is that cut you. For you to establish that they didn't have the proper security mm -hmm. to protect you from that happening. So you have to say a name. That's a fact. Okay. So these small podcasts <clears throat> seem to be kind of ganging up on you. Mm -hmm. That's what came to my mind. Yeah. Um, and I see they need numbers to come after you. You're one person. So what does that tell you about them that the people should know? That they cowards. I mean, listen. I'm a little dude and I'm looking up to a bigger dude, right? I'm looking up to that bigger dude for what? Because he's showing me something that is attractive. What is attractive about dudes that can't hold their own, that need help, so they got to go get more people? How is that even attractive? That's only showing you that these are the type of dudes. That's what they are in real life. The type of dudes that they ain't on man time. They on they on fugazi time. They on that time where yo I need I need yo yo I need you to pull up. Yo I need you to pull up. Yo I need you to pull up. Versus a person is like where they at? Where they at? You know what I'm saying? It's a difference. This is these are these are this shows you like. I don't need no help. You see, as you can see, um, I still hold this on my own because at the end of the day, this is what I'm used to. I'm used to going against the odds. The odds ain't first. For example, the help that they get from these little podcasts don't amount to nothing because they either recycling the same viewers or they don't have enough viewers. They be having like 200 viewers in one week, 200, 300 views in one week, mm -hmm. sometimes in a whole month. You know what I'm saying? So these these little podcasts, they trying to get their name up. You know what I'm saying? The only th thing they do by doing that is they get shot down. Look what happened to Popcorn. Popcorn was a page that was made strictly to come at me. And then now Popcorn is gone, so they recruit another person. And then that person acts like they neutral. Like, nah, I'm saying though, you know what I'm saying? But they, because that's the way they, they do deception. Deception could be done in many different ways. When you're implicating the art of war, sometimes you got to use the act. Sometimes you got to use the wording. Sometimes you got to use the formulation of deception. So when these dudes come, they'll be like, yo, I'm neutral, man. You know, I see stuff in all of them I don't like. But this guy right here, this, that, and the third. So now it makes it look like, oh, he made me neutral, but he just don't like this person. No, what it is, right? That's what it was meant to be. It was meant to be looked that way 
And then they start coming. Waka da waka. They start coming, coming through with the bash videos. Yo, this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? So you think that channel, that popcorn channel, was strictly to bash you? Like, hell yeah. That's that's what the whole channel was about. Son had 24 videos, and 17, 18 of them was all all me. You know what I'm saying? So now that they lost that weapon, they had to get other weapons. You know what I'm saying? Other weapons will come help them again. You know what I mean? It doesn't... Listen, they think it hurts, but it doesn't. It actually... It actually makes it better for me. Because while I continue on... Some people think negative publicity is good publicity also because it still gets you views. Because at the end of the day, since they ain't been people of... That people know their name like that besides their little areas. Other than that, people don't know about these dudes. So now... You know, in they're in the YouTube world. So in the YouTube world, they changed the... Have you ever seen that video? Um, you're probably going to laugh, but it was a video by a group named AHA. And they came out with a song called Take On Me. Mm -hmm. And it was a video where the, 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 the girl was a waitress and she was reading the newspaper. And there was a dude in the newspaper that he was being chased by some men. And... Somehow she fell in love with the dude and she went and turned herself into a character in the in the newspaper article, um, you know, the cartoon or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then in the end she stood there and she never came back. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> so it's that's the situation with a lot of these, you know, these characters. What they doing is they making up their own fictitious reasons for why they saying the things they saying. But in all actuality, it was all part of the agenda. You know what I'm saying? It was all part. They always in cahoots. Like, yo, we're going to come at him from here to here to here to there. But it still don't matter. The numbers don't change. They say something about the views. The views don't change. What happens is the numbers, for example, if you got 300 viewers and all of them is a bunch of trolls and a bunch of dudes that be in the crib and don't got nothing better else to do but hate and talk crap on the internet, your crowd is going to always be deep. But when I have viewers that they work, they have education, they, you know, it's different. They have a lot of prestige about them, you know what I'm saying? So they either working and doing things where they just can't be there all day. And then the minute a notification comes up, bing, oh, they right there. They yeah. doing. I have a more of a working class environment of people with higher education than, than dudes that just sitting there ready to, to listen to the internet drama, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. th so mines will still reach the numbers, two, three thousand. Is that's how I've been doing it, and um, it'll be the same thing. It sometimes it takes a little bit longer, but it ends up being the same thing in the long run. So when people watch the numbers and they see the views, where what views are you talking about? True. Can I ask you who Marcus Spellman is? Marcus Spellman. I don't even know who the hell Marcus Spellman is. Um, that's some. That's the paper that they they saying that the person said this, that, and the third. Um, and he, here's a funny thing about that. Okay, so uh, one channel has my lawsuit on it and said talking about that's my name. But then this other channels is 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 has another document on that has another different name. So then I say to myself, like, okay, is it that people are just straight stupid or dumb? <laughs> or they choosing to not see that these are two different people? Yeah. Because how can how can this person here's name be one thing, but over here his name is something else? Something ain't right here. You see what I'm saying? Another thing that I that 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 I've noticed um is the word the, the last name Spellman. Right, it's interesting, you know. Um, you know, some people look at, you know, KK's earlier lives. You know, I think you might see, you know, a Spellman in there. You know, what I'm saying, and you might see that that Spellman ain't there no more. You know, what I'm saying, um, that's kind of interesting. You know, they be talking about yo, you know, who takes the time to 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 look at this, that, and the third. Yeah, I take the time to do that because I like to be accurate when I say something. I'm not going to go and take a lawsuit and say that's writing, knowing that there's no writing in there whatsoever. Not even, I won't even do that in comparison to somebody that actually was doing implication. 
You know what I'm saying? Not somebody that's coming in for a monetary asset. Um, you know, a whole lot of that type of stuff that you see going on. So we don't know who Marcus Spellman is. Marcus Spellman is probably one of them. One of them is probably Marcus Spellman, I bet. You know what I'm saying? I could bet one of them is Marcus Spellman. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's probably either KK or he got one, he got somebody he know to do it or probably CK. He, he could be he could it could be him too. You we don't know or, or it might be that thing that CK be messing with. You know what I mean? It might be that thing. Mr. Playful, whatever his mm -hmm. name is. It might be him. You know what I'm saying? We, we how how are we gonna how are we gonna know who it is? Right. You won't, and I think it's really irrelevant. That's a fact. Speaking of Killer Kevin CK claiming gang affiliation, would that be correct? <laughs> Again, um so you got a dude that they wrote a book about who spent a long time, duration of his time, up in a small town up in upstate New York called Elmira. So he's up there. He's living with a, with a, with a female. He's doing all that craziness. You're going to tell me that he's going to be up there claiming, claiming blood. And he's beating up on women. You're going to tell me that you're going to come to jail. And when they ask you, yo, what you in here for, fool? I'm in here because I beat my bitch up. And dudes are going to be like, oh, yo, east side blood. You think they're going to really be like that? Probably not. So how was a, how was a person ever active? They weren't active. They were living their lives. They left it alone. So how are they making calls on the internet? Calls on... First of all, you can't make no calls on the internet. That's all fake Fugazi stuff. No one can make a call on the internet. And these dudes ain't... They can't make no calls. They ain't nobody who hold any position or power. They don't make no calls. Who gave... Who said... Who, who brought them back to life and said they could make calls now? Think about it. So, if you didn't hear about these dudes on the internet, you nobody would have said. Nobody would have said, "Okay, I got him here on the, on the paperwork." It says this, that, and the third. Nobody got them there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because what they was trying to do is they was trying to make their own movement. So they was trying to recreate from what is created already. You see what I'm saying? By saying, I was the first one to be here, which that was a lie. Being, oh, I was the first this and that and the third. You know, by saying these things, it's like telling dudes, yo, I'm I'm, I'm the big homie. You, you got to follow what I say. Knowing that that's not the way it goes. And number two is, you, you've been irrelevant for like two decades. You see what I'm saying? So, like... The evidence is in the books that you be up there promoting. Like you be there, yeah, get this book and this book here. It's the evidence is right there. Well, I saw that you had a triple shooting. You did by yourself. I saw all the slashings were done by yourself. So there's no one in jail right now or ever because you told. Nah. Nah. No. None. No, can no one ever say none, none, none of that of a third? I don't even fathom going in that route. You know what I'm saying? Always been solid. Everybody knows me for being solid. You know what I mean? Nobody knows. You crazy? I didn't even have no everything. Like you said, my triple shooting, it was me by myself. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had nobody with me. Yo, pass me this. Yo, we gonna do this. It wasn't no nothing that was planned. It was something that happened in the spur of the moment. You know what I'm saying? That could happen any day. You know what I'm saying? You could be, your dog could go in and, 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 and piss on somebody's yard. And the dude might come out and start talking crazy. And then they say, no, y'all start fighting. From then on, you know what I'm saying? You thinking it's over and he taking it to the next level now. Now y'all coming out, y'all shooting at each other. You know what I mean? These are certain things that can happen at any time. You know what I'm saying? So 
my thing was spur of the moment type thing. It wasn't, and by, that, like you said, by myself. I always been doing my thing by myself. You know what I'm saying? I never was the type that needed a crowd. I don't, for me, I could take out the crowd by myself. You know what I'm saying? I don't need it, need the crowd. Were you by yourself when they did the illegal stop and frisk? Yeah, it was by myself. So in your lawsuit, you explained how your rights were violated. And you're a big advocator of Mayor de Blasio, right? Yeah, yeah, because Mayor de Blasio was the one that stopped it. And when he was doing that, um, going, going at it with Bloomberg about that situation, I was one of the people that was writing down, to, writing into um, uh, uh, the Hall of Justice, you know what I'm saying, putting in my vote to basically eliminate the stop and frisk um, law. Was this while you were in prison for that? Yeah. Wow. All right, let's move on to CK. Again. <laughs> How did you and CK become at odds? At odds? Because at first, everything seemed cool, and then through the internet, it just what was sour. Okay, what happened was one day... I'm I'm in my lab, you know what I mean, you know, doing whatever I do. And I get a text. I get a I get a text in my inbox from um Ice Clown Leon. So um Ice Clown Leon is hitting me in my inbox talking about, you know, he's cursing and and talking crazy. So I'm like, yo, what's wrong with this lane? So he starts talking about somebody struck him. Right? So I don't even know what that is. I'm like, what you mean struck you? What, what struck you with what? Yo, you you sending the text? I'm thinking he's sending the text to the wrong person because I'm like, I don't know what this dude is talking about. But he's saying that um, on one of my videos that he re-uploaded, he caught a strike or something like that. So I was like, well, I didn't do it because I don't know how to do that. So then he was like, this, that, and the third, then... I guess he did more research on it than he saw that it says somebody else. And then he, you know, he tried to come at me and be like, yo, I apologize, this, that, and the third. But Frank, you already threw Franks, my man. You know what I'm saying? Once you threw the Franks, that's over. I'm not taking no apologies. You know what I'm saying? You know, if I see you, I got to smack fire out of you. You know what I mean? So um, I left it at, I left it at, you know, I ain't trying to hear the apology. You can boof the apology. So now, um, I guess I'm get I got at CK and let him know, like, yo, your man, your man was out of place. He tried to accuse me of something. Then when he found out that it wasn't me, he tried to apologize. But he already threw Franks. You already know. I'm not trying to hear that apology stuff. You know, I don't play that game with the Franks. Now I'm thinking, you know, how he professes it. Yo, that's my bro. That's my little. I look. I, you know, I love. And then our past, where I did save his life back then. Literally. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where he's gonna be like, hey, yo, uh, yo, yo, bro, yo, Ice Clown Leo, man, you out of place. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying go and have a debate with the dude, but see, he fears having a debate with the dude because he don't want the dude to start doing little videos. See, that's what both of them be scared of. Both him and Killer Kev get, get nervous when these two start making videos about them because they feel that it taps into their credibility and it feels that it opens up the closet to release more skeletons. With me, when people come at me, I'm comfortable in my own skin because I don't got no skeletons, so I'm good money. You know what I'm saying? So if this if this uh, if this podcast says something about me and this podcast says something about me and this podcast says something about me. When people look at it, they like, yo, hold up. You ain't show nothing with that man's signature, with that man's name on it, where it says that the man <clears throat> put somebody in jail, this, that, and the third. Y'all talking some old internet stuff that now y'all got a document that doesn't even have his name on it. It has somebody else's name. You see where I'm coming from with that? Yeah. I'm basically um, explaining. <laughs> there's no paperwork. Yeah, there's no paperwork. So, you know, at the end of the day, um, my, my, my stance is the same, always been solid. That's the way I'm going to die. I'm going to die a solid dude. You know what I'm saying? These dudes, they got, they, they done did things in between that kills their credibility. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like those mic check videos, those mic check videos, they expose 
you know what I'm saying? They expose a lot of they expose a lot from a lot of these dudes. You see what I'm saying? Those my checks videos. And it shows you that look, for example, my check, he's one of them dudes that probably been on this internet who knows how long, but he's one of them dudes that he sits there and he analyzes things. I guess he must be a computer whiz. I don't know what he is. But you know, um, and when he was sending me these videos, I was looking at the same thing. He started showing me way in the beginning where the hatred started from. He said, yo, Kat, listen, I'm going to show you where the hatred started from, the hating. And then I was like, where, where did it start from? He said, he showed me a live. Matter of fact, like two lives, two, two lives or two or three lives that were of Killer Cavs videos. And in his live, in the chat, Dudes are shouting me out like yo, shout out to Wildcat and the Spartan shot. And he's looking at the the what they saying and ignoring it and passing it over and then answering everything else. You, you know think that's when it started? Yeah, that's what you know, cause that I think that's when it, you can see that it's starting right there. Because then another live he did it again. And the dude actually he put it up like I saw him, he put it like two or three times. And then he did it again. So I guess Whoever the um the viewer was, he was trying to figure out if there was something up because I noticed that he's like he's digging, like he's trying to see if there's something up. Meanwhile, I'm ignoring it. I'm not even looking at those things. So when he showed it to me, he's like, This is where it started from. This is where there's something going on that he's not responding to when people are shouting you out in his in his chat. And that's Killer Cavs. And that was in Killer Cavs so, joke. So if I'm correct the issue with you and CK was from Frank Water? Yeah, from Frank Water, a.k.a. Ice Clown Leon. It was from because CK took his side over me. You know what I'm saying? But that, you thought your homies come before anyone else. That's the way it's supposed to be, but that's not the way. This is where you see the the realness of these dudes. You, It doesn't matter if who, no one comes before your homie. Wouldn't that be a violation? That's a fact. But, you know, this watered-down version of what these people try to make it be today, you know what I'm saying, it's what makes, what what what, what, what messes it up. Mm -hmm. Because now they say, nah, well, if he's my man, I can go against my home because he's my man. Huh? So doesn't that show you how unappreciated that CK is? I mean, you basically, you saved his life and you caught a new charge. Oh, facts. You know what I'm saying? Save the man's life, caught a new charge, you know what I'm saying? On top of that, you know what I'm saying? Um uh when 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 what made that, that episode with Queens Flip was because him and Killer Kev kept speaking about me. And then when I finally came up there, you know what I'm saying, I was the one they was talking about all that time. So basically if you look at that Queen's Flip show with me, um and you notice Killer Kev ain't even sitting on the couch. He's sitting on the side somewhere. I saw you came with paperwork, too. That's a fact. I came with paperwork. The only one. The only one with paperwork. You know why? Because I like to make sure that people know that what I'm saying is the truth. I don't, a lot of these dudes, what they saying ain't the truth. You know what I'm saying? Dudes will say, yo, I'm in this book. But you're only in the cover. Or KK saying he gave you outfits and you stayed at his house. But I thought you only stayed at his house for two days. Only stood there for a day and a half. And was that right when you got out? Hell no. What happened was, all right, the day we were going to go do a, another another um interview, right? Or something like that. But I wasn't going to stay that long. I was only going to stay for, for, for the night. You know what I'm saying? It ended up that I ended up staying too late to go back. So I stood another night. But I had money in my pockets and all that. I remember, I, I work. I had a job. You know what I'm saying? Um, so he had a pair of pants in his closet that didn't fit him. Because he is a short, fat dude. You know what I'm saying? And the pants were for a dude that's more in shape. So he had a pair of pants that didn't fit him. Um, he had a t-shirt. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he had a pair of sneakers that he had already wore. So he was like, yo, just to have a change of outfit. Because to me, I could have wore the same thing. It didn't matter because I'm going back home that night. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I got bad clothes at the crib. 
<laughs> you see what I'm saying? So, um, he gives me the outfit. So, I'm like, I throw on the outfit. You know what I mean? A, a new change of clothes or whatever. And I went to the store or whatever. And I went home. That was it. It wasn't like he went, he said, yo, come on. We're going to go to, um, we're going to go to Ralph Lauren. And we're going to go buy you a shirt. And we're going to go to uh, Calvin Klein. We're going to buy you a pair of pants. And we're going to go to, uh, 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 um, Sports Lane or whatever, we're going to buy you a pair of sneakers. No, 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 that's not how it went down. You see what I'm saying? That's how dudes take one little comment and twist that and turn it like a Rubik's Cube and make it all types of... of like they did everything for you? Facts. What about CK? Did he give you any money, clothes? From the time that incident happened to the time that he gave you the money, clothes, CK hasn't given me nothing. Nothing. That man gave me nothing but a bunch of promises. Yo, you know, I'm going to get you in the studio. That was a lie. Yo, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you this, that, and the third. Everything that he said that he was going to do, he ain't do none of that stuff. All that was a lie. Then he's going to say that he's responsible because the tranny went and, and sent me some money. But I'm saying... What makes the tranny any different than anybody else that donates in the chat? Nothing. Makes no difference. It's the same thing. So what they was trying to do is make it to the point where it makes it look like I'm ungrateful. I'm not ungrateful if the person went and donated um, whatever, put money in, in, in the chat or whatever. Fine. But where does that pay for green screens and this, that, and the third? These things that cost five, six hundred, seven hundred dollars where does this pay where does that pay that at you see what I'm saying that's another myth that they created just to make it look like oh, they do they do things for people they ain't do nothing for, do do nothing for who they ain't do nothing for me nothing nothing not a dime nothing and everybody should know that day when we went to the queen's flip show and then and the next morning. You know, I took the train. He didn't even take me to Port Authority. I went and took the train from from um from Ralph and from there I took it all the way to um you know um I had to take the train from there all the way to to, to somewhere downtown and then change and then go take the train to Port Authority. But I had money. I just put in my credit card and I was good. But he ain't had, he ain't had no money for a metro card. No bread. Wow. Bro. That's why he goes to outlets to shop. Talks all that money, but you in the outlets 40% off. Man, this dude's crazy, bro. Or the tranny is paying for everything. Yeah, well, yeah, the tranny, yeah, the tranny pays for everything. That's why he's going to move out there with the tranny. But if she donates to a lot of well, he, she donates to a lot of channels. Why is this tranny picking you out? I mean, he donates to CKs. Because the tranny is under control from CK. You know, and the only way that CK can have that much control is he's having a affectionate encounter with that person. You know what I mean? So that that's that's how you know things that have gotten affectionate. You know what I'm saying? And, uh... You know, I don't even understand how people don't question that. Like, yo, you know what I'm saying? You messing around with dudes, bro? You know what I'm saying? You out there messing with dudes? You know, that's ugh, that's disgusting, man. And, I, you know, to each his own. I don't want to bash anybody else's, um, you know, what 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 sexuality they, they, they deal with. But, you know, I just don't go that way. You know what I mean? I saw another podcaster screaming blazer. Is that accurate? That dude ain't no blazer, man. That dude's a faker. You know what I'm saying? That dude is a coward, man. That dude couldn't even stand on his own two feet. He cowered down. The dude went and made a phone call, told him this, that, and the third. Gonna Probably gave him mad promises. Bro, the dude don't gave you franks and dissed you in your whole set, said you're going to step on your flag and all that. And you like a coward. You jump in his chat with the pom poms. You looking mad stupid. Talking about he's a blazer. That dude ain't no blazer. I hear blazer. If a dude is a blazer, he got to be embarrassed to have this dude. And plus down there on Manor and all them blocks down there, don't even know this dude. 
They don't even know this dude. I was I was just hollering at a couple people from Soundview that said, "Yo, we don't know that dude." And the and the one 